Hello everyone, this is Sunday, July 15th, and this makes day 14 of the Ballville Dam removal. We are looking at what's left of the Ballville Dam here in downtown Fremont, Ohio. And as a good portion of the dam has been removed, this end was what we called the notch, where they cut a notch in it to let the water out. And we are down to the riverbed just about here now. We're going to take a cruise today upstream. This is a drought period, so it is definitely low water. But this is the natural amount of water coming down the river at this time of the year, I believe. Uh, it's cutting quite a notch in that silt and mud. Uh, those sides are four foot tall, at least, on some spots. We are going to get a little rain Monday, so it will be interesting tomorrow to see if... Uh, just what kind of a current we get down through here. I was hoping to see a few turtle, but not much. I'm seeing something move in the water. It could be a few fish in here. We're going to speed things up a little bit. You know, it won't make it quite as boring. We're heading upstream towards the reservoir. Uh, the basin here is really dropped and not near as much water here. I can see bottom most places. And coming up by Let's School. And she narrows right down. Looks like another big truck tire or something down there. Just the wheel. We've got some treasure explorers here checking the riverbanks for unknown treasures. Still haven't found Jimmy Hoffa, so you never know. And I see a few tires. If any of you need uh, nice tires for your car, these have been uh, washed uh, daily. She narrows right down to a narrow screen. Now here, I don't know what that is. There's water coming in from the right. And the river's not over there, so I don't know if that's coming from someone's house or what. Don't think I want to check it out. A few more tires. Now she widens back out again. And uh, there's still quite a bit of water here, although we can see the bottom. Up to a point right here I really can't see through. We're going to cruise on up to the reservoir here and check the water intake. Coming up to where it splits off and there's River Road there. Just around the bend is the water intake. Let's cross our fingers and hope we've still got water or else the reservoir is going to have trouble getting refilled. Speed up just a hair here. And there's our intake, and there is water. It doesn't look too bad, and as long as she doesn't go down too much more, which I really think this is about the lowest point we'll see. And time to come home, so we'll kick up to 2x speed here in a minute. Kind of look down as we go, see if we can see anything else.
It's not a real pretty water. Of course, Sandusky is usually muddy all the time. Something flew over me there. I hope that wasn't Mr. Eagle eyeing me for a meal. Saw the shadow go by. And I don't know what that extra water coming in from those houses are. There's our explorers back again. I believe that's at the end of Plank Road, that uh, old mill walkway back there. Once this high heat drops down I'll do a little more exploring but it's showing about 95 degrees out right now so don't care for the heat that much a few more explorers somebody's been driving a four-wheeler around and there's those angry power lines you're not going to get a meal off of my drone today. I'm really surprised nobody's come and got those tires. What's wrong with you people? There's great tires sitting right there for free. Alright, let's spin on down. And like I said, Sunday there's no workers. And I will be back tomorrow, hopefully if it isn't pouring rain all the time. And I do thank everybody for watching. And we will see you all tomorrow, hopefully.